And I'm mute. <laughs> and we are live, officially. All right. Welcome, everyone, to post-university esports week three ECAC 2021 matchup versus Providence, the Providence College Friars. Should be a really close match. Both teams at one and one. First map is going to be Ascent. Post you selecting defense to start. With me today is the amazing Chris Rammers. Chris, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you for introducing. Um, you, you know, you kind of had to, but you know, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> after your your very long-winded introduction. I'm I know. Really I got excited it. to see some of Valorant today, though. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> we had a very volatile first two weeks uh, to the Valorant to season, getting crushed in week one by. Uh, remind me First who was. Of Albany. Yeah, you of Albany, and then. Uh, <clears throat> You know, not selecting an agent? Not really sure what's going on. Feels <laughs> bad. That's all oh, he dodged. <laughs> but yeah, we got absolutely uh, destroyed by U of Albany. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> uh, and then week two, we did the same thing to uh, John Jay. So two matches... Yeah. Not very close. I'm hoping this one will be much closer. <laughs> One second, man. <laughs> we can load it up. Yo, these guys are actually really funny. Yeah, uh, this this guy... <laughs> this guy, uh, Retina Games, actually knows Leo. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. I need to stop <laughs> grabbing things around my desk. Wait, you can at people? I guess you can. That was news to me, too, when I saw that. What? Okay, I want to try it. I wanted to try it, but then I was like, let me not. <laughs> try what? Adding someone? Yeah, I was going to mention you, and then I was like, I'm going to look like a buffoon. <laughs> Gamer. <laughs> Gamer. I'm going to do what I call a pro gamer move. <laughs> Capital G Gamer. <clears throat> Every time there's like a clutch situation, I'm going to call it a pro gamer move. Pro gamer move. Okay, here we go. Loading back into Ascent. For game one of this best of three, the Eagles versus the Friars. Uh, let's see if uh, Reno locks in his agent this time. There we go. All right, the match is now guaranteed to start. No more dodging. No more dodging. Leo, Unless. hovering with the Viper. I don't think he'll pick it. <laughs> yeah, he goes um, to the jet. <laughs> And there we go, everybody locked in. We've got Jet, uh, played by King Leo, uh, Threaten on the Sova, Johnny Fuego on the Rays, Meech on Killjoy, and Reno on the Breach? Brimstone. Brimstone, thank you. And then meanwhile, on the right side... <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here for. Absolutely. Gotta love it. Alright, and then meanwhile, on the side of Providence, we've got Retina Games on the Jet, Trigger on Cypher, Max Tennyson on Sova, Robbie on the Brimstone, and Phoenix, played by Kid Mims. And it uh, looks like three ghosts coming out for... Post you for Leo, Threaten, and Johnny. Meanwhile, uh, three frenzies for the Friars here in this first pistol round. Pushing hard up onto A site here. Leo gets pushed off heaven really early. 
Reno going to get quickly taken down by Retina through the smoke. That's a yeah, very quick plant you, here. Yeah, from Retina gets a second kill onto Leo. A third kill onto Johnny. Finally gets taken yeah. down by Meech. Insane frenzy play. Has the frenzy meta has shown its face at the uh, ECA scene. Yep. Threathen gonna try to push up onto site here uh, with Meech. Does reveal many of the players. Nice headshot onto Kid Mims, but gets taken down by Robbie. And the Friar's gonna take round one with three players to spare. And so something to note is they had a very, very good trading going across their uh, uh, post plant setup. So regardless of the fact that post did get a few um, kills back and forth, it, it didn't matter because uh, they, yeah. they were just so, they have such a, a disciplined uh, setup here. Right now with a very early rifle, start off round two. Yeah, it looks like uh, Friar's going with all uh, Spectres and Heavy Armor. Robbie going to take the first kill on Reno. That's Johnny trying to open the door with his knife here. Okay. Bot's going to go out. He sees... Oh, gets taken down by the Molly. Great Molly there. And Post you doing a decent job of picking up kills actually here on the save round. But Rena going to take out a ki uh, threat them there and gets his third kill of the round on Meech and sixth kill of the game so far in only two rounds. And a second 3k just to open up for the for his team just absolutely running over the map right now. So I want to see what post U has to ad adapt to this because they seem to be just kind of giving these sites to... Uh, the Friars and, and don't really have a response and the retakes don't necessarily look that clean. Yeah, that was a save round though, so we're going to see a much more uh, even round, I think, right here, uh, after losing pistol round. Get out of my way. <clears throat> the Friars don't have full buys across the board. Retina is going to be using the knives, see if you can pick up a free gun. Johnny about to run into a couple of Friars here in the middle of the map. Ooh, he does get the kill onto Johnny with the knives, even though Johnny knew where he was. Ooh, and Threaten gets a kill on Leo and Threaten with the knives. Three kills again. Retina finally taken down by Reno. Is Reno now the final? Member left alive for post you. Gonna get flashed here by the Phoenix by Kid Beautiful. Sims, but he gets, takes him out anyways. As the spike so goes down, here. Max Tennyson with a around. sliver of health left on this Sova. It's a really good spot here. Molly. Doesn't know where they are pushing onto site. Max Tennyson does take him out as he saw Trigger first. And a valiant effort, but post you going to lose their third round in a row here to start off ascent defense. And that's that's really big for uh, the Friars. They spent last round, they you know kept their bonus, their stingers, and, and whatever guns they had. And, and Retina made, had a huge play picking up guns just all over the map for uh, the Friars here. And he's got an op now, uh, round four. So post will... Maybe not be expecting this, so you might get a free kill here. Uh, Threaten, meanwhile, gonna go with the Marshal. Shallow dart in mid. Looks like an A split here. Yeah, I think they're playing slow this round, switching it up a little bit. Blocking sight. He does not get to see Johnny on that drone. No Johnny's here, though. Johnny does get a what kill a on shot. Robbie. Great shot. As Leo spotted out, uh, Kid Mims pushing up here onto A site. 
Trino gets a kill from Trinus and trades it back. Ooh, a headshot on Kid Bims, but it's not enough to kill him. As Meech coming down here for the retake, Retina gonna take out Threaten with the op. Johnny's still alive, holding down this garden room. See what he can do. Pocket up versus the real op. Shot misses. Gets to the Vandal. Does win the Johnny kill. The world. He's running out of time though. Two they players left probably should just save here at this point. Grab that op. Honestly, That's probably exactly a good choice for Johnny. There. Good choice by Johnny there, in my opinion, saving the uh, op there instead of going into a really tight situation. Definitely agree. He's going to drop that up to Leo. Leo's going to buy him a, a real weapon here. And yeah, it looks like... On their second full gun route. Yeah, I was just going to say, looks like full buys here across the board for both teams. Uh, Retina, definitely the MVP so far in four rounds with ten kills already over just four rounds. Absolutely insane play so far. He, he has been constantly getting uh, early picks for his team. And it, it's coming up huge. Op duel in mid, here we go. And Retina takes him down! <laughs> he knew it was coming. Threaten did manage to dart B main here. Instantly got destroyed, so he knows there are some people here. Oh, that was interesting. Threaten couldn't decide exactly who he wanted to shoot there. Oh, he killed the lockdown with the Sova ult. That was actually really good from uh, Providence College there. As uh, Johnny, now the only one left alive. For post. You don't put it in a uh, hard spot to take out. It. Nice shot from we'll Johnny onto out. trigger, preventing the flawless, but a convincing round win for Providence College here in round five. Now up so five now, to zero. At this point, your econ is really wonky with the because you had the op save. It, it's for post it's you're kind of at a loss here. What what do you do? So I want to see them, uh, you know, make up a plan, whatever it may be, whether it's, you know, five stack a site or um, force up or, or whatever it may be, and just really try to, to get around here and try to hurt the econ of uh, the Friars. Yeah, pretty uh, snowball-y game so far if you just look at the credits. Friars with all full buys and at least $3,200 sitting in the pockets of everyone. So, going to be really difficult for post U to... Oh, as Red <laughs> takes out Reiner after he was revealed by the dart. Really, going to be really difficult for post U to, to take this round. But, Leo does have his knives out. He's about to face Retta check three no of them. How close Leo is. No, they don't. They don't know where he is. Leo this could be huge for Leo. Spot. Just got to come out of the smoke here. Oh, but they turned around. So now they should know that he's here. Hennison he takes him absolutely out. absolutely destroyed through the wall. And uh, they knew exactly where Meech was. Johnny now the last one alive. Barring some kind of massive ultimate, I think this is going to go in favor of the Friars. Oh, in and out of the smoke. Can't find the kill. And a flawless round for the Friars here. Six rounds to zero now. So now they do have full buys, they didn't have a, a mostly save round as the last round. So they get some guns under the belt. So now this is their third gun round for post. So what changes uh, is what I what I want to, to know, is what changes from uh, post you to actually get a win under their belt and actually uh, have some uh, momentum going back into this game. Looks like we're going to have Meech... Back. Uh, hold mid instead of B site. But uh, Friar is looking to push strong onto A site as Meech gets tagged. Very early rotation across. off for Threaten. Ooh, is Threaten get another kill on Johnny? Lights out with that op right now. Yes, Pushy needs to exactly. find an answer for that. And they, as you saw, they brought Meech to mid to hold that defensively. And what happened was Johnny pushed out a B aggressively, but Retina's just on point with the off today. He definitely did his uh, 
aim training today. Each does take one out to prevent the flawless, but another very strong round for the Friars here. Seven to nothing now. Post you, so post uh, you. both teams actually with three ultimates available here. Post you does have a, a very weird buy here. I'd like to see them go for an econ push. You maybe get all stingers heavy armor and just run out of B garage or, or A main and, and just kind of see if they can surprise uh, the Friars here. Yeah, it looks like everyone except Leo and Meech has a full buy. Revealing area. Econ Bolt was destroyed. He did actually tag some damage with that Shock Dart. Just a bit here. Got a little bit of armor off of everyone. But post you giving up mid control once again. I'm curious to see what this means for the Friars as they're pushing up right into the crosshair of Leo Stinger. Nice double kill from Lee. Oh, sorry. Meech got one, actually. Meech setting up a beautiful crosshair with it. Reno getting one. Finally looking good for Post U here. Two players left. Trigger and Max Tennyson on the side of Providence. Post looking good to finally take their first round here. But Max takes one down onto uh, Johnny Fuego. A 3v2 now in favor of Post. Oh, another beautiful. one for Max. Max. Oh! <laughs> and the crosshair comes into play, exactly and now it's... 30 seconds left. Now they have the spike. They can just take it A. And they, they know where Meech is. Everything they want. And Trigger <laughs> takes him down. A great job by Trigger and Max Tennyson in that 2v4. Still and locking and down the round for Had a good Providence. idea there, but it just never came through as they wanted it to. Yeah, really dicey mid-fight there. Started out well for Post, but quickly went south. Let's see if they can turn it around here. As another awkward buy across the table for Post U. Marshall, Stingers, Spectres. Oh, and last second they uh, switched to a full Econ save. Probably a good idea. I don't know if they can afford to do that again, though. Down eight to zero. As Thresden finds a kill onto Retina, that's a huge kill, actually. That's the op gone. It is indeed, but they do have three towards B site. Have no Reno about to find them. all of the remaining players. Now will Reno take this peak? Being Does. gets killed. And the Phoenix ulti does not find Johnny Fuego. Spike planted. Still playing in smoke. We don't know where he is. Johnny being very patient here. Does get taken down by Robbie though. This kid Mims gets another kill, and they know where Leo is, and they're gonna flush him out. And it's all up to Threaten now. Barely, <laughs> just barely missed seeing uh, Max Tennis that they're walking up from heaven. They consistently are getting one or two members from the uh, Friars side, but it's never enough to actually capitalize on round. So we do have full buys again for post, um, with only three rounds left in the half. So not winning this round it means that your next round has to be a save Come round for the, the next, for the last round of the half. So I really want to see what Post is going to do here as they have a three area. stack towards B. Johnny about to find a couple Providence members and they know he's there now. Ooh, <laughs> Retta dashing straight into his face. But a trade kill Beautiful traded back by, by Trigger. Johnny pushed uh, Phoenix back. Thus forcing the 1v1. Reno here chunked 52 HP. 
but does have a decent amount of control. Meech over... takes down Trigger, though. We're from the other side of the map, and it's a 4v3 now in favor of Post. We're going with full garden control. See if you can find them coming up through tree. No. Does get taken down by Max. And Robbie also gets a kill Meech. onto Meech. Not in the trade. But Johnny trades one back onto Kid Mims. Threatened on the flank. One enemy remaining. Gets one. Nice kill by Johnny, and just okay. like that, Post U's got their first round. As Threathen picks up another kill, and Johnny with three kills that round, including one with the ultimate at the end of the round. And Post U is looking to, to start here. this reverse momentum. <laughs> yeah, something I want to highlight here, though, is the fact that Post now is in a really awkward spot where if they do lose this round because they that last round was so expensive, they might not have full buys going into last round. So I really want to see them... You know, they have three ultimates, almost four with Leos, um, one till completion. I want to see them get aggressive and, and really use those to effectiveness. An extremely important round here for Post. Pretty much a must win right now. As the Friar is pushing on to B site. Threaten's about to find four of them. Something I want to highlight. Ooh, here. the wow. turret takes out Retina. That's huge. Another kill from Threaten. Onto Kid Mibs. And a second onto Robbie. Does get killed through the wall by Trigger, but a fantastic hold by uh, Meech and Threaten here. We're not getting seen here. Off the same play that happens every round for uh, Max here. We are about to find Max. Does get taken down, though, in the gunfight. One enemy remaining. There. As King Leo trades a kill back onto Trigger, and Max Tennyson, the only player left alive here for Providence in the 3v1. Let's see if he can make it happen. He has really nothing to say for his team is still rolling in money. And Post has the spike here. They know where it is. Going to be really hard for... Uh, Using Util, which was going to give away his location, so they know he's towards Market. Leo's gonna come this way now. They know where he is now. Does take one down, but Leo trades it back and posts you. Wins another must win round. 9 to 2 now. Post you is very good at these very last moment uh, comebacks into the half, so I yep. really expect them to make some good work. They still have a lot of ults as well, so I would like to see Threaten specifically going for an early Sova ulti play and seeing if he could find a good pick. He might as well at this point. Last round of the half. Something I want to highlight is that Max from uh, the Friars has almost every way. single Can round has been way. doing the Hold same uh, dart setup. Damn Here, now. however, he's going for a blind ulti. Gets nothing. Johnny just barely okay. dodges that Sova ult. Johnny with a nice play, popping up the uh, drone here. Let's see if he can potentially. Fly oh, face checks and two kills there for post you. Is Johnny gonna walk through the smoke and die? But Leo trades two more back. As the ultimate comes down. And post you wins another round. Three kills for Leo there, including one with the knives at the end. Side. And post so you with a little bit of a comeback half. here. Uh, the momentum gets a little bit reset because of um, because of obviously the, the restart in half. Uh, but I want to see if uh, posts can, can carry this momentum. They have the mental edge right now. They they really need to to force and keep uh, the pressure on to the Friars. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you know they aren't going to lose the next uh, ten rounds here. Yeah, because, you know, you lose pistol round here, then you have to, you pretty much have to save, so then you're, you're 10 rounds down, then you're probably going to lose the save round, so now uh, your opponent has 11 round wins before your first real buy, so almost another must win round here for post as they're looking to push up onto A site, which is held by uh, Trigger. early rotations here coming out from the friars retina taking his heaven position 
Sees one. Post, you taking a lot of damage through the smoke here. We're gonna start backing away, backing off. Max, on the other hand, saw the early. Ooh, a headshot onto Retina by Max. Or, excuse me, onto uh, Leo. Leo. And now he can start expecting this rotation. So Yep, and post you now uh, rotating back towards B. Backwards. I wonder if he's going to use this dart here. Oh, a little late. Found them. Two Absolute more kills. Dart from Max. Ooh, 3v2 two v3. now. 30 seconds left. As Threathen picks up a kill, 2v2 now. Health bars are very low for post. <laughs> and Threathen <laughs> going in with the knife. <laughs> no. And a good attempt there from post, but he's, Providence College wins in the end the pistol round. So now this is the must win round. Yeah, they need to for sure. You need to force up, control the momentum, so that way they can bring it into the third round. I Retina picking up the uh, Marshall this time. Marshall full armor. It looks like uh, Eagle's going to try to push up onto A site. With a uh, full save. Leo dashes right into the trigger, but Reno trades a kill back onto him. But does, does an insane amount of damage. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Wow. More kills trigger. coming out here. Absolutely destroyed post use health bars. Yeah, that Those was insane. Good. They were all really dead before I could even ball. say anything. <laughs> And post you now in an extremely must win. I mean, every round at this point is must win, honestly, uh, with your opponent only needing two more to win the game one here uh, in this best of three. There. So what I want to see from post you is they know they have gun advantage. I want to see them take the long angles, take these really long range fights that stingers and in, in, in aren't going to win, right? Um, Johnny about to find Retina here. Oh! Face checks him! His boombot actually blocked the shot?! <laughs> oh my. Did not even know that could happen. Kills being traded back and forth. A 3v3 now. As Reno gets the plant down for post onto B site. This is not what you like to see. B site in the scent is very notorious for being an easy to retake site. You like having numbers advantage. Threathena takes out Redna though. The post is pretty low on health bars. Yep, Trigger gets a kill back on Reno, a 2v2 One now. And Trigger takes down everyone. Three kills on the round. And that's All gonna be match himself. point now for Providence with their 12th round win. Match point. So, match point, backs against the walls. I want to see something creative here for post. I, I I need to see them do something besides one or two mid and then the rest rushing on to sites. I want to see them, you know, really use the, the brain power and, and think of something creative, something unexpected to catch. Uh, I need to blow something up. The yeah, they need to. Off guard here. Yeah, they absolutely need to switch it up here. Uh, try to do something different. Pushing up onto B site though, meanwhile, as Leo watches for a flank. You should run. <laughs> oh, tragedy for Mitch Meacher. Double satchel engaged from Johnny, but there's nowhere for him to aim. But a one for one trade, a 4v4 now. Serena getting the plant down onto B site yet again. Post you can try to make their last stand here. 
Leo gets a kill onto Trigger. Really big. So 3v3 towards the site, but they do have 4v3. Leo with their ace in the hole on the back side. down. Oh, a nice shot by Threaten onto Max. Going to take him out. A beautiful post plant for uh, post. Good U. job by post. You holding point. on there. Now down twelve to four. Would be incredible if they managed to come back at this point. Win eight plus rounds in a row. Start. Yes. It starts right here. It starts right here. They got. Actually, I think it started in like almost uh, full buys. Yeah, it started oh, last 11, round. Sure. I believe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> round ten, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> but in any case, almost full buys for post you. Aside from I think Johnny and Reno. Something curious to note here is that Reno did not buy full armor moving into this round. He kept his light armor from last round. Let's see what that does. Kidmims with an early pick onto Threaten. Trigger also gets another kill. The wall. This could be it right here. But Leo trades one back. And Johnny gets another one now, keeping post hopes alive, but now the last man standing is Johnny Fuego. And two bullets in the gun, and the Friars saw victory in their eyes, and they pounced. Good game, 13 to four in favor of Providence College, game one. And uh, now they get to pick the map. Ah, so, I'm curious to see why Post keeps deciding on Ascent. I wonder if it's a comfortable com comfort thing or, or what is the um, idea. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the sub, Parker. Appreciate you. They choose bind. So, um, I will actually have to dip here. I have a very important practice I have to get off to. So No worries. Thank, thank you for your time, about. Chris. I'll let you know how the rest of the match goes. Will do. All right. I have will fun at Overwatch practice. Later. I'll see you later. All right, we're back. Sorry about that stream interruption. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> but uh, we're back here. It's going to be game two. Post U Esports Valorant team versus Providence College Friars Esports. Providence taking game one. We'll be starting game two shortly here. Apologize for the delay. We're just picking uh, picking the map here. Uh, Post was uh, the home team, considered the home team in this match. Uh, so we actually picked Ascent after uh, Providence banned a map. And so this time we're banning Bind, and then Providence gets to select the map and the starting side. Uh, but also cannot be Ascent, since we already played there. Uh, Max Tennyson, actually the MVP. Match MVP uh, 
last map, a uh, very good combat score. Even though uh, Retina Games came out to a huge start getting six kills in the first two rounds. But uh, Max Tennyson eventually caught up to him on the Sova, getting top frag. And it's going to be split for map two here. Hey, thanks for the follow, Retina. I believe we're just waiting for Reno and Leo to come back from being AFK, and then we'll get into game two here. Providence with a convincing game one lead, uh, game one win, 13 to four. Let's see if Post can turn it around here in game two on split. While we wait for the match to start, thank you everyone for watching. Appreciate all of you. Please uh, don't forget to give the stream a follow if you haven't yet. It really helps us out. Um, and if you still have your Twitch Prime sub and you're wondering where to throw it, throw it right here. All the money goes straight to support and post you esports scholarship program. So here we are. It looks like we're getting started right now. Gonna be split. Let's see if we have similar compositions coming out for both sides. Interested to see what each team has decided to go with here. The Friar is going to start on defense this time. It's going to be the Phoenix locked in for Kid Mims. Brimstone for Robbie. Could possibly be a Sage pick here. That would be interesting. Let's see what the Eagles decide to do. And Leo is going to lock in the Sage. Okay. See who else decides to pick up the other Duelist role. It looks like it's going to be Threthen. Possibly hovering the uh, the Reyna here. I like what Post U is doing here, switching up their agent choices for split. Retina, the last player not to lock in yet, hovering over the raise. Let's see if he locks it in. Would be a double duelist comp on Select both sides. So pretty standard stuff coming out for both teams. Um, aside from the uh, the Sage, I suppose, which um, it must be she must be meta on this map for the wall, but uh, ever since the nerfs to her wall, she's been played significantly less. But in any case, Leo gonna bring her out as well as trigger. So I mean, I think Sage could have a really big impact on the game, especially on pistol rounds. Her heal is so incredibly important. So we'll see which team can take better advantage of her abilities here. As uh, Post, you're going to start on offense here. Let's see what we decide to go for with the buys. It's going to be Leo with a Frenzy and Retina also with a Frenzy. And then uh, Classics across the board. Light Armor. Uh, Threaten going to go with the Ghost. Post you look like they're setting up for uh, for a strong B push here. Max Tennyson about to face check five of them. Blinded. Is going to know that they're pushing up though. As the 
wall goes up. Fast rotations coming out for the Friars as Leo gets a kill onto Retina and pushing up onto the site. Three kills now, four kills for Post U. One player left. Kids Kid Mims is on the Phoenix. Ooh, and takes out Johnny, but Leo with his third kill of the round. And Post U strikes first here in game two, winning pistol round. Good strong start here for Post U. Great take on B site. I see now the Sage pick really paying off that wall uh, pushing up through Garage onto B site is really key uh, for the attackers. And Post U going with uh, full stingers here. It's going to be another stinger rush onto B site. Let's see if it works out for him. Leo grabs the ultimate orb. See if he's going to throw up another wall here. Yep, here comes the wall. He does get blinded, though. As Tennyson takes out Threaten, but Meech trades him back. A good trade kill for the Eagles. And Johnny takes out Retina. Another good take here for post -US. Leo watching for the flank. Knows he's there. Meech going to get that kill on to Robbie. Another good round for the Eagles. Let's see if they can stick the landing. Blinded yet again. Good trade kills coming out, though. And Meech with three kills on the round. And the Eagles take round two up to an early lead. And now we're going to have full buys. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going. Looks like everyone with a full buy on the side of the Friars, except for Kid Mims going with the Spectre full armor. Looks like Post actually saving their stingers on three players. Let's see if it works out for him. Oh, a nice kill from Threthen. On to Kid Mims, taking out one of the duelists immediately. From the Friars, and I love the aggressiveness from Posty, just pushing quickly onto the site, getting the plant down right away, putting the Friars on the clock. Retina gets a kill on Johnny with the retake, and it's a 4v4 now. Ooh, as Robbie gets two more kills. Meech and Reno trade two back, though, and it's a 2v2 now. One enemy remaining. As Max takes one down, and there's one more remaining, and Meech was surrounded. Unable to find the kills, and the Friar's going to strike back, taking their first round on split here. Great retake there from the Friar's. See if Post you going to go back to B site. Had more success B site so far uh, than they have at A site. There. They're going to be expecting uh, Max to be holding this garage on the sky. That's what he's done every single round so far. And here comes the blind. Post you pushing him slowly onto B site this time. Nice kill from Johnny onto Max, and then good pick. 5v4 now. As the uh, Killjoy ultimate does get destroyed by the Brim ultimate. The use of ultimates, a trade kill coming out, a 5v, uh, excuse me, 4v3 now in favor of the Eagles. Leo grabs a kill onto Trigger, and Johnny going to get this plant down here onto B site. Leo gets a res onto Threaten, but Robbie takes out Reno in the meantime. Leo getting a lot of value on this Sage already in this game. 
Oh, and a great job from Johnny. Three kills on the round. Good communication from Post U. Spotting out the members of the Friars. And now a triple ultimate advantage for Post U. Here in round five, up three to one. Johnny, Reno, and Threaten all wear their ultimates. So double duelist ultimates available for Post U. Let's see what they decide to do with them if they decide to pop them here. And uh, Reno also with his ultimate. Everyone from post doing well. Leo and Meech both with five kills apiece. As post you gets blinded, pushing up onto A site this time. And Max actually also going to switch up where he is watching. As a kill traded back. Grethen and Johnny going to take out two. And it's a 3v4 now. Threaten pushing up with this Empress ultimate from Reyna activated. You can make anything happen with it. You see someone back there. He's going to get blinded. Gets a kill despite being blinded. And another kill for Johnny. And there it is. Three more kills for Johnny. Seven and two. On the game, on the map so far, Johnny doing a great job on this raise. Still has not used the ultimate either, so still one more ultimate uh, available on the side of post, but a massive ultimate advantage uh, in this round for the Friars with uh, the raise, Sage, Sky, and Phoenix ultimates all available. In full buys also across the board for both teams. We'll see if uh, we'll see if the Friars make good use of their ultimate. Leo does spot their Phoenix back there. Gets everyone blinded, but Johnny does get a kill on him through the wall. Great job from Post there. Looks like they might decide to rotate off now. Leo making the call as Reno going to take down Max. Oh, it looks like it might have been a fake rotation off. So now going back onto B site. Wall comes up. Leo takes a kill down onto Trigger. Oh, but Retina going to take out Leo with the ultimate. Gets another kill onto Johnny. Three more. Robbie going to come up here. Try to make something happen as the plant goes down. And it's a 1v1 now. Robbie versus Reno, but the spike is planted. So advantage post you. Robbie has to make something happen here. But Reno with only 46 health to his name. Gonna try to just stick it here. Oh, but he does get him. Great job from Robbie. Starting the defuse, forcing him to come out, and then grabbing the clutch. And it's four to two. Post you still in the lead here though, but a little bit of a momentum swing, possibly for the Friars. As uh, Friars on a possibly a little bit of a save round here. Post you with full buys. So you're still seeing a little bit of the uh, economy snowball effect favoring Post you with their early round wins. As pu pushing up onto A site now. Each watching the Heaven have entrance. He's going to see someone come down, gets a kill onto Retina. Trades back another kill, and it's a 3v3 as Post takes the site. Oh, and a nice flick by Meech onto Trigger, and going to take out another member of the Friars. Ooh, but Kid Bims has his ultimate available and running. Reno's Reno going for the plant. Kid Mim's in a 2v1 now. But Leo with just a sliver of health remaining. 
Yeah, he saw him up there. He saw the barrel of his gun poking out. He knows where he is. Diffuse in his wall? Interesting choice. Ooh. Start the defuse. He's not sure where Leo is, though, and Leo gonna find him. A great attempt from Kid Mims on the Phoenix. But Leo takes him down in the end. And post you now up 5-2 to two here in Game 2. would be really hyped to see the Eagles take this map and bring it to a deciding Game 3. Robbie, the top fragger so far for the Friars, seven and six. Meanwhile, on post use side, Meech at nine and four on the Killjoy, doing a lot of work here. As the Killjoy ultimate goes down on B site, Sagewall goes up to try to prevent a push. And once again, it's going to be the ultimate trades as Robbie also gets Reno on the back end of that. But Threaten picks up a kill, keeping the hopes alive for post U. A 4v4 now. Yo, walls off the back entrance. Post U possibly looking to rotate back around here. Yep, there looks like they're going to rotate back around to A site. Johnny taking point here, about to run into Robbie coming up from sewers. Looks like he's going to wait, though. Ooh. Kills traded back and forth. It's a 3v3 now. As Threaten takes down Max. Rena gets a kill on Threaten. A very, another very close ground. Still now a 2v2. Retina with another kill onto Meech, and they have the spike now, and only 10 seconds to go, but Leo gets another kill. He has no time to plant, though, and it's going to be a round win for the Friars. Let's see if Leo can get an exit frag, though. Oh, Retina just pops him right in the face. And a good round there for the Friars. Using the clock to their advantage. Post you gonna try an, another A push, still with a two round lead at five to three. And uh, looks like Fight. Providence on a bit of a save here for three of their members. Trigger with just the sheriff, Max and Kid with frenzies. Meanwhile, Post you has full buys on four out of the five members. Leo gonna go for a sneaky little. Uh, First flank here, and meanwhile, Johnny gonna pick up a kill, and it's a 5v4. Get another kill with the grenade! Johnny busting out all of the explosives right here, gonna satchel over the molly. Oh, and just barely misses, gets a, gets a little bit of damage on the kid, kid Mims, but not enough for the kill. And Leo gonna look to trade this back. Good kill onto Kid Mims. Gonna get the res as well onto Johnny. A lot of value for this Sage, but Trigger gonna pick up a kill onto Threaten. 3v2 in favor of Post U as they rotate back onto B site. Leo gonna wall that off to buy a little bit more time for Post U. As Meech gets the plant down onto A site. But Trigger rezzing Max, and we're in a 3v3 now. As the Friars attempt to retake B site. Friars going to have to push up pretty fast here. Bomb is ticking away. 
Nice kill from Leo. Gets traded back though. Retina with his fourth kill of the round though. And he's gonna take it for the fires if he can defuse in time. It's gonna be close. Does get it off just barely though. And Retina carrying that round for the Friars. Four kills now up to 13 and seven. And in a very close map too here so far. Five to four, the Friars crawling back into this game. One round at a time. Three more rounds left for post you on offense. Let's see what they decide to do here. Looks like it's going to be a B push again. Then this time we have Kid Mims watching B site for the Friars. He's going to need to put these smokes off quick. He's about to get found out by uh, Retina. This is also a full save round for Post. So if they could actually win this round, that would be huge. But Thre as Threathen picks up a kill onto Kid Mims. But the firepower from Trigger is just too much, but Retina gets two! With the bomb and another with his gun. And the Friars easily pick up that round on the back of their uh, full buys. But now post you should have all full buys. Curious to see what Kid Mims decides to pick up here. Looks like he does not have a full buy, although... Never mind, Retina can just buy for him, so they're fine. Yep, full rounds for all ten players here. As post you're going to push up onto B site this time. You should run. Killjoy ultimate goes out. Wall's gonna come up. So they just run across. Oh, great blind from Kid Mims. Gonna get the kill onto Leo, but kills traded back and Kid Mims takes out another. But does get taken down by Sir Meech. And we're now in a 3v3. As Reno gets the plant down on B site. Friar's going to look to retake here. Two in heaven, one pushing up through CT. A lot of utility coming out. Robbie going to get the kill onto Reno. Ooh, a nice kill by Meech. Onto Trigger. But he's defusing. He's going to stick it. It doesn't matter as Max Tennyson gets two more kills. And the Friars take the lead for the first time in game Last two, six to half. five now. Much closer game this time. Let's post you with their last chance on attack here. Looks like they're going to go switch it up and go for a mid push this time. Actually, the first time they're doing this. Wall goes up, gets taken down very quickly. Johnny going to get a kill on Max through the wall. He's right on the other side of the wall. I don't see him. <laughs> Two kills traded back. 3v3 now. 2v3 looking good for post. You're pushing on to the site. One enemy remaining. So Johnny takes out Kid Mims and Retina, the only player left alive for the Friars. As Meech gets the plant down onto B side. I like that switch up from post. You going with the mid push for the first time this map. Retina going to try to push up onto site with this op. Going for some really sharp angles, and they're going to switch to the Phantom. Get the kill onto Johnny. It's a 1v2 now, but gets taken down by Threathen, trying to push up through Heaven. And a even 
six and six switching sides. so far on attack and here we go switching sides now economy is reset pistol round six to six this is going to be a nail biter here in game two remember if post you wins this game series will even up at one game apiece and we'll head to a deciding game three with post you map selection Pistol round on defense. Meech going to hold B site with his turrets. Johnny watching A site. Uh, two ghosts on the side of Post U. One frenzy for Retina and Classics all around. For the Friars. This wall goes up mid. Friars going for a mid push here. Killing the wall with their knives. Three pushing up here. Leo gonna take one down. Gets traded back though. Oh, a nice double headshot from Threathen on this Reyna. Two shots in his gun though. He's gotta reload. Takes one down. Oh, 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 am I to tell this man to reload? Takes another kill, his third of the round. Going to go for a four tap here. Max Tennyson, Sky, the last player remaining. And he does get it. Four for a threat and a fantastic round. With the ghost doing work. Showing the snowball capabilities of this agent. Especially on pistol round. It takes the top frag spot away from Meech. 15 and 10. Post you looking really good here on defense. Off to a great start. Winning pistol round is going to put their economy ahead. Here for the second round after the swap. It's going to be a hard push in onto A site from the Friars. Launching smoke. Smokes go down for me in a very, very quick plant. But Johnny going to take out Max. That's a good kill. 5v4 now. As opposed to you now on the clock trying to go come in for the retake. Oh! Kids, kills traded back and forth. A 3v3 now. Let's come in and pick one out. A third kill of the round for Kid Mims on this Phoenix. And Meech, the last player alive for post year, going to go for the hero play. Go for the defuse. Does get one, but dies to the molly. And Kid Mim's going to pick up four kills on the round. And we're tied up at seven rounds yet again. But economy in favor of post U. Everyone, I believe, with full buys now. Possibly? No, I don't know. No, not quite. They had to win that round to have full buys. Going to have a couple stingers coming out. A couple sheriffs. Going to be another fairly even round. Uh, no, actually, I lied. Uh, not going to be that even at all. Uh, Friars with all five members getting full armor. So this is really the Friars round to lose. As Retina going to up, pick up a kill onto Threaten. As Tennyson takes out Leo, a 5v3 now. 5v2, this kid Mims takes out Meech as well. And Johnny and Reno going to try their best to retake B-Site, but Retina takes out Johnny as well. And a flawless win for the Friars here on offense. Take the lead back eight rounds to seven. Exactly what this is exactly what you want to see as a shoutcaster. Such a close game. This this is really just it, going back and forth. I think we've had three or four lead changes so far in this game. But full buys now for post uh, minus Leo with the light armor.
Johnny about to find. All five members gets killed by Retina with his utility out. You hate to see it. This Threathen throws down the Empress ultimate. We'll look for some kills here. Another quick plant from the Friars. Renna takes out another kill, and King Leo is going to be really difficult. Nigh impossible for Meech to come in and take this site 5v1. He's going to give it his best shot. There's a lot of utility being burned for him. Does pick up one kill. On to Robbie. But gets taken down by Max. They knew exactly where he was. Friar's going to extend their lead to 9-7 to seven here. Another save round here for post U. Would be amazing if they could pull off a win here, but the, the round will likely go... Uh, to the Friars here, just in terms of fire, raw firepower, but we'll see if Post U can make it work. As Leo knows where they're going to be coming from. There's four of their members walking up onto Heaven here, overlooking B site. Right now, Retina gets a kill onto Threaten. Robbie takes another kill down. On to Meech. Max going to get the plant off. Nope, cancels the plant. There we go, plants goes down. I'm only going to find Leo. Gets taken down. And uh, too far away to make good use of that gun is Reno and a flawless victory for the Friars. As opposed to he was on another save round. And here we go. This is, a, I think, a must-win round for opposed to He's got, We've got the full buys here. Let's see if we can make something happen. Retina, meanwhile, quietly climbed up to the top of the leaderboards. Far and away surpassing anyone else in the game. 25 and 10. On this raise. Incredible stuff from the Providence captain. A little bit of a slow push this time from the Friars. So make a little noise mid, but then mostly push up through Garage here. Meech gonna find a lot of them. Takes a lot of damage. Actually gets taken down by the Boombot. Friars looking strong here, yet again. As Johnny does get a kill onto Retina, that's a big kill. And another one onto Kid Bims, and Leo trades one back as well. A 3v2 now in favor of Post U. But Johnny with just 17 health to his aim. Oh, it gets a grenade kill as well, that's huge! But Max takes one out. Firing through the smoke, Max going to take out another kill. Three kills now! On the round. Clutch. And a fourth one. Leo did not know where he was. Great job from Max. Taking four kills on the round. It was looking really good for post U. But Max took matters into his own hands. And secured the round for the Friars. Now two more round wins to, to victory here. Post U with their backs against the wall. They started making a comeback last map. Let's see, let's see if they can do it again here in map two. But now down four rounds, it's going to be an uphill battle. As they're on yet another save round. Killed by Threathen. Robbie's going to take him down despite the healing. Lockdown destroyed again. Johnny going to take a kill.
looking actually not too bad for post, honestly. On the save round in a 4v3. If you can manage to get a couple kills on the save round, pick up some guns from your opponents, you can actually turn it around. You're going to go with the Bucky here. Oh, and they wall over the top, and he's on the other side, but they turn around and quickly kill him. Wow, a creative play for the Friars. Good use of the Sage Wall. As Johnny trades one back, though. 2v2 now, though. 2v1 as Leo gets another kill. And again, the thrifty round huge for Post U. Actually getting the round win despite having horrendous buys. Fantastic job. Post U possibly starting the comeback now with a full buy for every member. But two ultimates ready on the side of Providence with Kid Mims's Phoenix ult and Trigger's Res on the Sage. So. Make dance. See if Post U can actually get these kills before the ultimates get utilized or time them out. Time out the uh, Phoenix ult, that is. So actually pushing up onto Heaven overlooking A site. Threaten gonna get a kill onto Retina. That's a big kill. One duelist gone. As Reno gets blinded here, gonna retreat. Down to the ropes. Threaten gets another one onto Trigger. That's huge. That's both of their ultimates dead. Oh no, excuse me. Kidman's still alive. And Johnny gets another one. Those you trying their best to make the comeback here. Ooh. But two more kills traded back. One enemy remaining. And there's a third kill of the round for Threaten. Ooh, he gets back so low and Meech finishes him off. Great job there from Threaten. Now the top fragger for Post U with 20 kills. And Post U wins the round. Now only down two. 11 to nine. Three ultimates ready on the side of the Friars, as Kid Mims did not pop his last oh, round, but meanwhile, Threaten and Reno have both got their ultimates ready. There's a big push onto B site this time for the Friars. Good kill from Leo, but one traded back from Trigger. Good ult from Reno on the plant spot. But Retina gets a kill onto Meech. Oh, a nice kill by Leo, but it's traded back. A 3v2 now in favor of the Friars. Ooh, Johnny gets another kill, but he's blinded. Trigger gets the res onto Retina. That's huge. Oh, and they didn't actually get the plant down yet. Mech's finally getting the plant down. Looking away from that blind by Johnny. Reno gets one down. It's a 2v2. Trigger takes out Johnny. But Reno trades one back. It's a 1v1. Four shots left in his gun. Reno going to go for the reload. He's got to get in and get that defuse. Gets the kill. And he's going to have time for the defuse. Incredible stuff from Reno. Three kills on the round. And this is a crazy close match right now. 11 to 10 going the distance here in game two. Some fantastic play on both sides. And post you now only down one, winning the last three rounds in a row. Full buys again for both sides. Uh, Leo with his res ultimate ability available. Trigger used his last round, and Post U was still able to take the round. Threaten also with his ultimate available, Empress. That could be really key 
in this round here as Trigger with a quick pick on Amich and Leo gonna go for this res. But that was in Garage. He's gonna have a really hard time resing that. Ooh, and everyone there! And Threaten unfortunately unable to get any kills. Spike planted. Leo does get one. So Max last tends to pick him off. And the last, Leo, the last player alive now for post U. With the res available, but no one, no one's body around to use it on. Does get the kill onto Max, but they know exactly where he is now. Takes out the Phoenix ultimate. And Leo running out of time here. Has to wait for this Molly to expire. One enemy remaining. There's one left, but Robbie knew where he was. Good effort from Leo taking three kills on the round. Match point. But it is now match point officially for the Friars. And this is also this is game point and match point. If they win this round, they win the whole match. Let's see if Post U has anything to say about that. Leo with his res still available. Uh, meanwhile, Retina with the raise ult available as well. Let's see if he can get any kills with it. Robin's going to do a hard push onto B again, looks like. A lot of damage, though, onto Retina. Leo picks up a kill onto Retina. Johnny gets another kill. Tennyson going for the plant, but not going to get it down. You know where they are. Leo another one, but Trigger trades one back. Ooh, very close. And Max Tennyson now the last player left alive with half health in a 3v1. Takes out Reno now a 2v1. Know where he is though, and he has the spike, has not gotten the plant down yet. Very low health now, just barely missing that kill was Threaten. And Max now gonna rotate around, looks like all the way to A site. As Threaten loses the armor. 30 seconds left. Oh, it looks like he might actually be coming back up to B, up through heaven. Last player standing. Oh, gets the kill onto Threaten, but Johnny finds him. Very clutch there from Johnny. Great job, though, from Max. Very nearly stealing that round and the game for Providence with just a sliver of health left. A very close match here. If Post U wins this round, we'll be going into the... Uh, Overtime situation. So we'll see what happens. Uh, really interesting buys, right? Everyone just trying to buy what they can. A couple full buys for each team, but not full by any means. Threaten going to find a lot of players. Just barely makes it out of there alive. Going to rotate very far away from that push. As Meech gets two! With the Spectre. But Trigger takes him down. And then reses Robbie. But Kidman takes one out. But Johnny with the ultimate. Takes down another one. And just like that, it's 12 to 12, ladies and gentlemen. Post you with an incredible comeback. Winning the last five out of six rounds. And we're going into overtime. Round 25, 12 to 12. This is an edge of your seat match right now. Both play, both teams playing really well. As uh, post you now on offense again. <laughs> I'll I'll let him know you're rooting for him, Vernon. <laughs> Looks like full buys across the board here. No ultimates available. Remember, a team has to win by two now. To take the match. 
Crefton pushing up through mid. He's about to find Trigger. He knows he's there now, though, as the wall goes up. Both teams playing much more cautiously this time. As Leo gets blinded, pushing it onto B site. Blinded twice. What a great grenade from Retina. Gonna actually get the kill on him each and do damage to Leo. If they trade back a kill on him. Robbie gets another one. Reno trades one back. Leo, the final player remaining. But Trigger gonna take him down. Three kills on the round. And now match point for the Friars. Match point. Post U's been here before. They've faced many match points from the Friars. Let's see if they can bring it to round 27. Almost like a tennis situation here with deuce and advantage. Looks like it's going to be a hard A push with all five members. So smoke comes down right on top of Johnny. He'll do his best to hold them off until the rest of his team can rotate around. This kid Mims gets a pick onto Leo to start things off. A great start here for the Friars. Ooh, and they see him through the wall. Johnny trying to dance, but he just can't. Dies to the wall. It's a 3v2 now. As Reno takes down one, takes down two! Keeping the hopes alive for post U up here in heaven Planted. as the right spike here. goes down. Post U needs to get in down onto this site soon. Last Meech with a kill on the red, but Max trades it back. And Meech now the final player alive, post U's last hope. Two, in a 2v1 situation. 70 health to his name, and Trigger takes him down in a very close game two, but the Friars are going to take the victory. Great work from both sides, a very exciting match to cast. I hope you guys had as much fun watching that as I did shoutcasting it. I was on the edge of my seat that entire map. Fantastic round from both players. Retina Games with the match MVP, 343 average combat score, 28. 20 and 14. And Chef Johnny Fuego, meanwhile, the top MVP, team MVP for post. 283 combat score, 24, 20, and 5. Really close game, too, but the Friars take the sweep 2 0 and will improve to 2 and 1 on the season. The Eagles fall to 1 and 2, heading into week 4 here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Super fun game to cast. Uh, we've got a lot more action for you this week. We've got Overwatch tomorrow at 8. Then on Thursday, we've got Rocket League at 8. And then League of Legends at 9.30. And uh, please, if you haven't followed the channel yet, please don't forget to do so. It would really help us out. And uh, any money you donate or Twitch Prime subs or anything like that goes directly to support a post-U eSports scholarship program. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Coach Denny. Have a great night.